Welcome back to Game Changer. <laughs> you know, this is our second take starting the show. Same out. joke, huh? Same joke. Same we, joke. I thought yes. it was good the first time around. So okay, I figured yes. we just going. We just look. We just for just for for to, transparency. To, for, to clar yeah. clarify yeah. things, my, my man got a little fish bone, a, a little fish bone. And, and they and they took him to the hospital in an ambulance. He was on the injury report. No, no, oh, no, 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 He's going to hit free agency. The yeah. Dolphins aren't going to franchise tag him. They're not going to reach an extension. Yeah. Not at least not yet. They yeah. think it can still happen. But Bo, are you surprised that they're going to let him mm -hmm. test? Well, the look, they, they've been they've been on this bend the whole time. Yeah. They, they started during the preseason where we'll negotiate once the season starts. We're not going to negotiate. But I think there probably were a little bit, and and I, I don't I don't understand it. I, I really don't understand it. He, he certainly is one of the best football players on the team. He's kind of the heartbeat of that defense. Good dude. And let me ask you this. Uh, you know, Chris. Chris has said he's earned free agency. Well, that's right. Fine, he has earned free agency. He didn't need to get there. They could have <laughs> right. stopped that from happening. Yeah. So evidently, they feel let's let him go. We're not going to be able to afford him. Let's going to do this. So let. So let's say you don't. You don't sign Christian Wilkins back. How effective does that make Siler, Zach Siler? Right, yeah. We're going to see about how, that. How does that? How, we also don't yeah. know. Sealer. Sealer. We also don't know what. Wilkins will do if he goes somewhere and gets right. 25 right. million on a bad team without yep. Zach Sealer yep. next to him. Yep. Yeah. So there's a lot to this. Yep. My personal opinion is that position, mm -hmm. unless you're Aaron Donald, yep. which is the difference. He's Hall not of Fame. He, you far. can't spend 30 million dollars yeah. on that position. Yeah. That's my thought on it. I'm. I'm in your camp. And, yeah. and it is not Christian Wilkins' fault. And again, I you know did the writing. You know my writing on CBS Miami. I got yeah. some people getting back at me. There is no blame. Christian Wilkins, Xavier Howard, yeah. Jerome Baker, they are not the reason the Dolphins haven't won a playoff game. No. But the fact is, when the money has been on the line, yeah. right. and you can blame the blame everybody, blame, yeah. blame the special teams. These guys haven't made the big play. No. Yeah. There's no been pick six. Now, Sealer and Wilkins have made more plays than anybody no else. Doubt. No yeah. doubt. But when you're letting guys go that want too much money or cost too much, yeah. I'm looking at what did you do when the money was on the line? Let's move on to Tua for a second because last year we saw Tua. Obviously, he yeah. does the martial arts to learn how to fall. Now, apparently, he's reportedly got a personal quarterback's coach. Yeah. Goldie, do you, do you like this move? Do you like how we see every year Tua does something that's maybe a little outside the box to kind of get better going into another season? Yeah, you look, if he can make a jump, yeah. even a third yeah. of what he made right. from two years ago to last year, the Dolphins are in great shape. Mm -hmm. So, yes, look, I think he's proven. Look, well, he, he's okay. going to try to get as good yeah, as he yeah, can. No, no doubt. I mean, he's obviously doing that. I don't think it can hurt, but he's got to work on some of those things. So, so go from leading NFL passer to, right. hey, I need to work on some things. So, so, so here's what he needs to work on. And, 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 and I think this is what he's talking about Meeting now. Meeting the Bills. So, so <laughs> no, so like year one, year one, he, 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 was, he was in the, in the Brian Flores thing, and, and and it wasn't good for anybody. Now he's now he gets the next year, and then he gets hurt, and now he's got to figure that. So last year he did the, he, whatever he did, whether it was the jujitsu or neck exercises, he resolved that problem, right? We all agree he resolved that problem. His problem now is he hasn't won in the fourth quarter. He has not won in crunch time. So for me, if I was him, every offseason I would focus on, so I want to improve here. Mm -hmm. For him, his improvement needs to be in the red zone. He should do everything he can do during this offseason to figure out how to make his red zone presence better 
because that's what he that's what he should look if 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 he didn't have that shortcoming should hand the ball if off he the didn't have that zone. shortcoming yeah. no. that he look he hasn't won a game an important game in in the fourth quarter when well he, they when, did when, do it against when, Dallas he did oh, drive down right. for the okay field goal. I got that's that one. I got that's that one. that's yes. one and they kicked a field goal from 40 yards out or whatever correct so so he got halfway down there correct I'm and talking, they did it on the I'm ground by the way I'm just talking about I'm talking about in the red zone you're right a signature win he doesn't have and and look if he can solve that, then give him fifty million dollars. Yeah. I, I don't care. Man, give million. give him fifty million. Well, whatever that, much whatever that number. I look, he's going to get forty numbers. anyway. Yeah. He, if, if, he, if they if they Daniel if, Jones makes 40. If, if he takes a low ball I mean, offer, it's going to yeah. be about forty. That's right. Different organization. So, and he's not taking that. So, so he's not going to take. And it. if I was him, I wouldn't take. No, it. No, I wouldn't. Either. If I was his agent, I wouldn't let him. But take you know, it. with this quarterbacks coach and the things you're talking yeah. about, you know, you go back. And look at those two times you got the ball yeah. in the fourth quarter Monday night against Tennessee. What can you do better? Yeah. And you go back in that Buffalo game, the three times they got the ball in the fourth quarter no, and yeah. what they could do Kansas better. Kansas City like, and Germany. Right, 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 and Kansas late in the season. So you look at those few things. The other thing is, and this is kind of a defensive two, I guess, yeah. when, when they call those those fades yeah. in the court, you got to have a guy that can yeah. that's good at it. Now, yeah. maybe John o. Smith will be one right. of those guys, well. but if they're going to call those plays and throw that lob yeah. in yeah. the corner of the end zone, you have to have someone that can go you, up and you, get but right. You know, there's an, but, but look, there's another thing with Tua. Tua's got a little, he's got a little, he's got some ball handling issues there. That was it. Yeah, that was uh, a number of ball, because you, you yep. look at, you, you look at, I forget where it was, it was, it was like maybe Buffalo or something. He, he, he got, you got, it's a game. It's a game you got to win, mm -hmm. and, and and it's and he's got to run because there's no one throw, and 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 so he's juggling the ball around, and so he can't even see. So he gets up and he gets sacked. Game over, right, and right. and you didn't even get a playoff. Yeah. So yeah. he needs to resolve that too. So there there are shortcomings, but I don't think there's shortcomings that can't be overcome. That's the key. That's right. the key. And yes. you got to give it. If you're, you got to give it to him. If your quarterback's willing to continue yeah. to improve in the offseason, and, and look, not settle I, I for give, the success I, he's I had. I give him a lot of credit that, for what right. he did last off yeah. last offseason. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm sure no he's going to do it again. There's no yeah. question about the work ethic yeah. Yeah. and all yeah. those things with him. It's can he graduate yeah. from mm -hmm. being whatever you yeah. want to say top ten? Yeah. I think everyone would agree. Yeah. Yeah. Can he get into that top five? We'll yeah. And can we'll he come through in, in money time yeah. and win your playoff games? Speaking of top five, no one will put the Panthers in the top five. They're top one right now in the entire <laughs> NHL. Five. We're going to talk about them Ooh, next man, and all the moves they've been making. Goldie, we're going to talk about this next goodness. segment. More game changers. We Third back. period demons, those guys. <laughs> game Changers is sponsored by your Volkswagen dealers of South Florida. Shop your seven passenger favorites at VWFlorida.com. Welcome back to Game Changers, the Florida Panthers, your Florida Panthers, Ooh. first team in the NHL this season to 90 points. It, it took a <laughs> smoking hot. It, it took a basically the end of the season last year to get to 90 points. So Goldie, they're well ahead of schedule yeah. already. They bring in Vladimir Tarasenko. Forsling gets an extension as well. What is going on in Pantherland <laughs> right now? I mean, it, it's almost <laughs> too good. You're worried yeah, about yeah. like whether you know right, the other, the other it, drop. It's incredible because yeah. you know very often when you have a run like they did last year. Yeah. You know, you wait, did you get a little lucky? Did you get a few breaks? How does everybody come back? Does everybody kind of think we're better than maybe we are? You go bring in a guy that's won a Stanley Cup in St. Louis and Tarasenko, has a house here yeah. in South Florida in Broward County. His wife and kids are already here. So you make a trade. Vladimir Tarasenko isn't figuring things out with his bags at hotel. He took a flight to Fort Lauderdale and he went home. <laughs> right, right. So this thing is seamless. He trains here in the offseason, so he knows a bunch of the Panthers. He knows Bobrovsky from, from from way back when. Maybe he'll roll out the red carpet for Brady Kachuk one day. Well, no, I'm just now you're just even kidding. talking bigger. Oh, That's his former just teammate now. I'm just kidding. Yep. So uh, they've <laughs> taken what they did last year and somehow yeah. Yeah. They have built on it. They didn't come back satisfied. Yeah. We made a great run. We made the cup. They came back mad yeah. that they didn't beat Vegas in the cup yeah. final. And as this season, and as Bo said, you know, we're talking off the air, and as the games go on, yeah. they get better yeah. and better, which is scary for the other like teams. That, that yeah. third period, they're, they're yeah. just like, I mean, they're, it's, it's, it's If it's ridiculous. close, it's over. Yeah. Let me ask something about the moves that they made between Forsling and Tarasenko. Does this shine any light onto what could happen with Reinhardt in the – in the offseason, does this maybe make you think they can get a deal done with him? Well, look, I, I know Bill Zito, you know, th they've got like 
charts upon charts, like hundreds. Yeah. If Cuno signs for this and yeah. Bocamper yeah. leaves, we can go get a million different things. Right. The yeah. fact is that Gustav Forsling takes a reported less than $6 million. This guy's a top 10 defenseman. Yeah. He loves it here. His family loves it here. He loves playing for this team. Could he have made more money on July 1st? Probably. Could Matthew Kachuk yeah. have squeezed for more money? Probably. Same thing with Barkov. So you got some guys now that understand they've got a window here and a big one. Because yeah. you got Barkov, Kachuk, yeah. and Forsling signed for eight years now. They can win here. It's a great setup. They got the practice facility downtown Fort yeah. Lauderdale. A lot of guys live around the corner. Yeah. And guys are willing to take less money for this situation. No state tax as well. So I think the Forsling deal is a good sign. Yes. To try to get yeah. hopefully get Reinhardt. So 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 let me so so the Panthers they're they're, they're the best record in the NHL. Uh, I don't care if they win the President's Cup, but you're looking how you know they're going to be in the playoffs now, right? So between now and then, what pops in the back of the mind of the coach and the players about, I want us to be healthy when we mm -hmm. get to the Stanley Cup playoffs? Well, I don't want to limp into the Stanley right. Cup playoffs with this guy hurt, that guy hurt, that guy mm -hmm. hurt. And it's much like the NFL, much like the NFL yeah. these days. Hey, you're, you know, you're in the playoffs. Do you sit this guy? Do you arrest that guy next week? What's what's the what's the plan going? Or do you just say, let's just go balls to the wall well, and just keep doing it? The only you know? thing you can really do, Bo, is limit ice time, and they yeah. do that. Like you yeah. don't see Barkov playing 24, yeah, 25 right. minutes. It right. doesn't happen. What 15? Yeah, yeah no, he's around yeah. 20. Yeah. You know, you try to level it when you have a lead. You know, you roll the lines. Yeah. Obviously, special teams is a factor. Inter Miami Herons. We'll call them that. Um, <laughs> putting a hurting on people. Uh, they beat Orlando City the other day. Five, that was a, that's a bad five, team. Yeah. That's a bad that's, team. That's, they, scored, they scored two goals in two a, minutes. Come on. They could have scored 15 goals in well, that game this, if they wanted. I, I, this led us to this question this week. I do like Leo watching and I them, were though. talking. You see, starstruck versus Messi. Do you think one of the best parts about this whole thing is that opposing players are a little like, oh, my God, that's actually messy on the other side. But I, do you, I think, do you think so. that plays a factor? I think so because, you, you know, you, you know, I see it early on when I, wa I watch the guy. I've, I've, I've kind of gotten to him now. I like watching the game. Kind of watch But him. early on, you see the guys on the other teams, and they're going, you kind of see them going, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, can, you, can kind of, right. you can kind of Let tell. Let me get that pick after you know, the game. And then, like, even in, even like in the games when there's a yeah. little friction, yeah. you know, one of the guys will come over and go, you know, hey, you know. Right. So Remember who that I, is. I'd like to hear some of the, I'd like to hear some of the dialogue the dialogue right. that, that goes between those the, the opposite teams with him because mm -hmm. you know half those guys grew up in, you know watching him as the best player in the world yeah. still the best player right. in the world and you know to be on the pitch with him it's it's got to be yeah. it's got to be crazy. And the other part him. of it is you know in that league mm -hmm. you know you've got when you start getting down yeah. to the depth players they're not even in the ballpark yeah. of no. this guy no. yeah. so they know it's not like hey if I have a great yeah. game I can compete with yeah. Messi. Right. Not really. But I tell you what, I, was, I watched them play against L.A., and, and that was a great game. Because yeah, L.A., yeah. you know, there are teams in this league that, re, that yeah. really mm -hmm. can compete with them, and, and those games were really nice. <laughs> to, to kind of wrap this up before we go, there was, I think it was their first game of the year, or, or maybe it was their last preseason game. After the game, every player came up to take a picture with Messi. He right. gave them the <laughs> yeah, second. Right, I right. think that tells you all you need yeah, to know. Yeah, reminds yeah, me of Brady the last year in Tampa. Remember a lot of yeah, times yeah, yeah, the Buccaneers yeah, yeah. after the game? Yeah, a lot of guys were coming Let me get that jersey. All right, still to come here on Game Changers, Jason Kelsey calling it a career. Oh, the big bear. We're going to see what his career after football might look like, and can, and can he be as successful as some of some former players who have big Bring him on game change. He's going to be right, 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 right there. Right, right there. Here for him right there. We'll be right back. He's going to be in the movies. Welcome back to Game Changers, gentlemen. Get your boards. All right, let's go. go. Let's boards go. Are let's go. Missed boards. you last week. Yeah. My boards are out. Yes, I'm I think back. We've, I think so we've the missed boards. the boards for like two, two weeks. And right? he almost missed two weeks in a row with the with the fishbone problem. Fish bone. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think his little finger was the week before. So you, he your come finger out. hurt. Yeah. Finger. Yes, you I got, got a, beat up. I got a he paper a cut last week. That's why I was going. Okay, this week Jason Kelsey officially retired from the NFL. It was official, so got us thinking. Who he's going to have a big career outside of football and broadcasting, but outside of broadcasting, who's an athlete? who has gone on to have as much success or even more outside of the sports world. And again, we're leaving broadcasting Great question, out, out of this. So I see, you your, I, see you're pretty, I see you're pretty eager. Goldie, did you think you, of this? I, I think I did. I, I think I did. Leo did. What do you think you did? Did you think of it or not? It's Listen, not a trick I, question. I was knocked out in the hospital twice last oh, night. So okay. I well, my guy <laughs> has a broadcasting career, but what this guy has done, he was an early investor in Google. Yep. He owned an NBA team, okay. an eSports team, like Kim Bo Camper. You may not know, he was a professional wrestler. That's right. At one point in 2016. Never made it to the top 500. Neither did this guy. Actor, 
music composer. Owns like 500 uh, uh, five guys. Rapper. <laughs> Police reserve officer in Doral. Oh, I know where you're going. Sheriff's deputy yeah. in Georgia. Uh, the king of the nicknames. Ooh. Shaq Daddy. The Look Diesel. At that. Very the good Big deal. Aristotle. Shaq Fu. Yeah. The Big Agave. The Big Cactus. Yeah. The Big Conductor. Mm. And he came into Miami with the greatest welcome yeah. to a town ever with the water gun off of the off yeah. the truck. And my favorite nickname in the history of sports, one of the million Shaquille has, Wilt. Chamber Neasy. Oh. Is there a better nickname than that? It's no, got to be Shaq. That, that's pretty great. Who's that's done pretty with Shaq's done? No, that's I pretty good. The resume's pretty Come on. The you know, Shaq, he there. walks into stores and just give, buys kids bikes and whatever they want. Shaq he, Fu, baby. He's a great guy, but I'm going to go I'm gonna go a little old school. Girl. I'm right. going to go to old school because my man got the money when the money wasn't what the money is now. Mm -hmm. I'm going with Roger the Dodger Staubach, the great okay. quarterback. What do you Out of Annapolis, Maryland. Came, went yeah, to went to, U.S. Naval Academy. Went into the Navy. Was an All Pro for the for the uh, for the Dallas Cowboys, Hall of Famer. There he is. He's he has headed one of the largest real estate companies in the world. Wow. Over the last thirty did years. You get, did you get in on that? Yeah. Yeah. And with no. it, with the money that he was starting at, my man is worth <laughs> six hundred million dollars. Squeeze the mouth. Right now, and started when six hundred million dollars was a lot more than six hundred million dollars is right now. Like How come you didn't get a piece? Billion at that How point. I, I knocked on his door a few times, but it was locked. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get that meeting. No, no. All right. I think I think I'm closer along the lines. Of you. I can't give the, I can't give the introduction you did. <laughs> I feel well, I, I did a little homework. Yeah, I I that was a great question. But listen, this I I I am Will gonna, I am gonna an easy. localize. <laughs> That's so funny. I gotta localize it a little bit. Guy who played down here at the U. Okay. Went on to fame in the movies and wrestling, yeah. and, I, and now oh, he's got oh, Terramana, go. his tequila, yeah. The Rock. You know what? That is guy. I got, I, yeah. I, wait, 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 look at the eyebrows. Look at the eyebrows. Great job. Well. Cool. I drew yeah. the eyebrows. Well. Listen. I tell you, it'll be hard to beat The Rock. Listen, he's Let me see worth like a, a billion. No, no, don't ruin it. No, no I'm not going to ruin don't it. Don't ruin it. He's yeah. worth like a billion dollars. He's yeah. in every movie. One of the highest paid actors in the world. His tequila brand, I haven't had it, but I'm sure it's great because, you know, my, my my man doesn't miss. Maybe he'll send some to you on Game Changers. I'm gonna send Dwayne. Him, I'm going to send him the clip. Yeah, what, what do we got here? President in 2020. There's been talk about that, too. President in 2020. People are begging him to be a president. By the way, Gerald Ford played at Michigan. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. So there's another there one. you go. All right, so we'll end on that now. Good we picks, got everybody. Some yeah. MMA talk, believe it or not, coming up next on Game Changers. Look forward to it. MMA. MMA. UFC 299. Welcome back to Game Changers. The video we're looking at right now is UFC Ooh. 299 Media Day. We've got Sean O'Malley Ooh. versus Chito Vera. That is headlining the card. Is there Didn't that guy used to go to all the sporting events? And, and <laughs> no, that guy used to wear a wig and do that. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, And that's yeah, the okay. second best hair because mm -hmm. we're going to see the best hair that's in just right. a moment, Mike. That's right. If we're talking about the UFC, we're going to see the best hair. And there he oh, is. Look at that. 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 Five, 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 like seven years of MMA experience. Right, we don't need to. Yeah, yeah. we don't need well, he wrestled and played in the NFL. I, so, you hey, know, listen. I got 10 years of hand to hand combat in the line of scrimmage. That's true. That's true. That's true. All right, so we got O'Malley and Vera. That's the head of the card. But yeah. why is this such an exciting fight card that's coming here to South Florida? This is why we're talking about UFC 299 mm -hmm. here in Miami this weekend. Well, boys, before we get into this, oh. I always told my parents I was going to do this. All right, guys, I want to give a shout out to my mom. It's a three minute segment. I know. I want to give a shout out to my mom, Nancy Morales. All right, Nancy. Listen, I made it. Your boy made it on TV. All right, let's talk fighting. So um, I think what makes this card particularly impressive is that... By the way, your nails look really good. Oh, really thank nice. you, man. Thank you, thank you. My girlfriend, you know, right. she picked them out for let's me. Let's get so. back to the fights. Thank you, guys. Let's sorry, sorry. Fights. So um, what makes this card particularly, you know, interesting is that they chose an older guard and a newer guard of fighters. So every single fighter from top to bottom, they've chosen, like, the older generation of fighters, kind mm -hmm. of guys that are on their way out and kind of the young up-and-comers. The tough guys. Yeah, right. The young up-and-comers like myself. 
Um, and it's it's a card where they've chosen basically guys that are just strikers, right? These are guys that are going to go into the center of the octagon for 15 to 25 minutes and just stand there and trade, right? These, these are these are all guys that are not going to sit here and grapple. It's not going to be a jujitsu match. It's going to be a straight grappling, I mean, a straight striking match. So I think that's what makes it interesting. It's going to be a lot of knockouts, a lot of TKOs, and uh, yeah, it's going to be right here fun. in Miami. Right here in Miami, the case, right. Kaseya Center. So, so from, that, from that standpoint, do you think it's changing? Yeah. The sure. new guard is, is approaching a little bit different? Yeah. I think the new guard, right, like for me, for example, I'm more of a grappler, right? And the new the new generation is more so complete, right? Before in the, the older gen, you had, oh, this is Anderson Silva, this is Conor McGregor. These are striking specialists, right? right? Mm -hmm. But now you've got guys like Kamzat Chimaev, you've got guys like Shafkar Rachmanov. These are guys that are going to come in, they're going to strike, but they're going to force these takedowns, force these clinches, and they're going to edge out a submission. Um, you know, a lot of submission wins are kind of the new normal mm -hmm. in MMA, right? These flash knockouts aren't really a thing anymore, right? That, that era of that is kind of fading away, but a lot of fighters are fighting smarter to kind of fight longer. We saw we saw some news today that broke Jake Paul's going to fight Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah. Now, obviously, whenever there's fighting, there's always some sort of drama. There's also some circus right. that's involved with it. Coming out of 299, can we see some big announcement, you think, from UFC that may resemble something that we're seeing from here from Jake Paul and Mike Tyson? You know, the I, I would say yes. I mean, I know Dana White, you know, yeah. doesn't really like the theatrics, right? Yeah. Dana White doesn't like all of that, and that's why he doesn't cross-promote fights. But we saw him. We saw Conor McGregor fight Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. So, <laughs> insane, by the way. So, yeah. I do think that there is a world where maybe, you know, Jake Paul fights Conor, Jake Paul comes so, in. And so, let me ask you something, something about UFC that's, that's I, I was a boxing guy yeah, way right, back. Right, right. I grew up, I grew up right. a hardcore boxing right. fan. I loved, loved all of it. Mm. And then, the, then, then, uh, then MMA UFC, came, MMA yeah. comes mm. in and, and it's kind of steals the, the people mm. from there. And, and the one thing about boxing to me, you had champions that were champions for years. Right. And they took on all comers. MMA, you, I, remember, I remember watching a fighter. He was a guy from California. They called him the California Kid. Oh, yeah, that's Uriah Faber. Uriah Faber. Yeah. I watch, I'm watching him, and he, and he beats him. I go, man, this, that's my guy. I'm going to be a Uriah, <laughs> yeah. Uriah Faber fan. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't wait for his next fight. I saw his next yeah. fight, first round, spinning, spinning, uh, spinning back mm -hmm. fist, out, yeah. gone. Yeah. Like, these guys, they don't <laughs> stay champions. Yeah for long yeah. enough for you to get like a rivalry in there. That, that's what, Score that to me, is yeah. what's missing. Yeah, you know? I, I agree. I mean, you know, we, we have a few guys that had long reigns, right? We had Kamar Usman, who now, he was a champ for like five years. He's yeah. lost. We had Volkanovski now. He yeah. just got a horrible knockout loss. So I think the turnover is what they're trying to avoid. But, I mean, with four ounce gloves, man, yeah, it's hard to avoid it. Yeah. yeah. Joanne? Sir. Great job. Awesome. Thank you guys. Well, well, your right. mom's going to be you proud of you. Nancy's on TV. Nancy, 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 right there. I did it, Mom. I did Bye, it. Bye, Nancy. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Thanks for watching the last time you'll be on, so you don't need to wait around. Thank you, Jonah, for joining us, bud. Good job. Thanks, man. Yeah, good job. Thank you.